Get back, nigger. Get back! Gentlemen and ladies, I greet you here on the banks of the James River in the year of our Lord, 1712. First, I'd like to thank the gentlemen of the Virginia Colony for inviting me here. I received your invitation while on my modest plantation in the West Indies, where I have been experimenting on some of the oldest and newest methods for controlling your slaves. Ancient Rome would envy us if my solution were implemented correctly. I've seen enough to know that your problem is not unique. While Rome built crosses and hung cords along the old highways. You are using the tree and rope on occasion. I caught the whiff of dead slaves a ways back. You are losing valuable stock. You are having uprisings, and your slaves are running away. Ladies, gentlemen, I have not come to enumerate your problems but I have come to introduce you to a method for solving them. In my bag, I have a foolproof method for control. This method has worked on my plantation in the West Indies, and it will work for you. It is so simple that any member of your family or oversteer could use it. I've taken an outline of differences among the slaves. I take these differences and I make them bigger. I use fear, distrust, and envy for control. Take this short list of differences and think on them. At the top of the list is age, uh, but it's only there because it starts with the letter A. Second, is color or shade, coarse hair, fine hair, whether the slave is intelligent, their sex and size, size of the plantation, whether the slave lives in a valley, on a hill, 
east or west, northern or southern. Yeah. <laughs> now that you have a list of differences, here is the plan of action. You must rival the old black male versus the young black male. You must pit the dark-skinned slaves with the lighter-skinned slaves. You must drive a wedge between the male and the female. It is of the utmost importance that they trust and depend on us. I can assure you that distrust is stronger than trust, and envy is stronger than admiration, respect, or adulation. Gentlemen, these kits are your keys for control. If used consistently for just one year, the slave would become perpetually distrustful. The black slave, once receiving this indoctrination, shall carry it on, and it will become self-refueling and self-regenerating. They will teach it to their young, and the effects will continue on for maybe 400 years. Who'll take the first kit? I'll take one, sir. That'll be three shillings, sir. Here you go. Thank you. That'll be three shillings. Mm. I think we have to I got go. so much fire, you know? I got so much fire. Mm. 